So this is my newly completed Rodin coil. This took a few hours to complete. Lots of work. It's eight, 18 winds of each of the two coils. So this would be 18, this would be 18. For the power supply today, I'll be using a little transformer that uh, puts out 22 volts DC at 55 volt amps. And I'll be using these discs, which is an N52 disc from KJ Magnetics. They're extremely powerful. So as you can see here, I've got one of the input wires to uh, both of the coils. And I'm going to start with showing you just hooking up one of these wires. So here I've got my three N52 discs. Uh, this is just to show how powerful the repulsion from the coil is. I'm going to now just attach this little wire. So here we go. There, see how powerful that is? And then the other wire. So that's the other coil. And then if I hook both of them up, so I've connected both these wires, we'll do that repulsion again. See, with both of them hooked up, it doesn't push away nearly so badly, but the magnet shakes and the coil vibrates on the table. You can just hear that. You can see how strong that is. Now I'll flip the magnets over. And we'll hook one wire up and see what happens. So in this case the magnet just gets pulled around. Same with the other wire. And then I'll hook them up. There we go, that's both wires hooked up. So you can hear it shaking along the table. with both wires hooked up. You can see it's quite violent. I'll just do it again. So I don't know if you can see, uh, I've turned the other light off and flipped the film over so that you can maybe see it better. But here I'll just hook up one. You can see the slight pattern just along there and there. Now I've got the other one. Now you can see a little more clearly. So that's off, uh, that's on, off, on, off. You can just slightly see in the center it gets a lot blacker. So there's obviously a lot of magnetic activity in the center of the coil. So here I'll just switch back to the other wire and see it will change position. See that now switching to the other wire. So, this is what I used for my coil. Um, I'm going to build a few more coils with these ones and then experiment with stacking them on top of each other. It's a very interesting coil, um, it repulses uh, other magnets extremely strongly. There's a lot of activity in the center. Um, if you place small magnets inside, especially small spheres, they'll just jump around in a circle and try to fly out, and then if you switch the polarity, uh, they'll obviously try to go out to the other side. But, <clears throat> they'll try and stick in the center, and if you get a magnet along the outside that's being pushed outwards, and it gets to a certain point, it, there will be a very strong repulsion, and it will really fling out.